Ever wondered how your computer remembers your files even after it has turned off or how your phone keeps your photos, apps, and videos safe and sound? Today on Knowledge Hub we're diving deep into how storage devices actually store data. From massive servers powering the cloud to the tiny chip inside your USB stick, it all starts with the simplest idea in computing. Biary, just ones and zeros. Every document, every song, every line of code is broken down into a long stream of these bits. The magic lies in how different devices physically store these bits and that's where things get fascinating. Let's start with the classic, the hard disk drive or HDD. Inside, it looks like something from a sci-fi movie spinning magnetic platters and a mechanical arm called the reed, right head. These platters are coated with a special magnetic material. The drive stores data by changing the magnetic polarity of microscopic regions on the disk surface. If a region's magnetic field points in one direction, it's read as a 1, flip it, and it's a 0. The arm hovers nanometers above the spinning surface, writing and reading data as electrical signals are converted into magnetic changes and back. It's like encoding information into the grooves of a wrecker, but instead of music, it's raw binary data. However, moving parts make HDDs relatively slow and prone to mechanical failure. Now contrast that with the modern marble, the solid-state drive, or SSD, no moving parts, just pure silicon. SSDs use something called NAND flash memory, which stores data by trapping electrical charges in tiny structures called floating gate transistors. Each transistor represents a bit, and the presence or absence of an electrical charge inside, its gate determines whether it holds a 1 or a 0. These charges are non-volatile, meaning they stay put even when the power is off, that's how your files remain intact. The controller inside the SSD organizes all this storage and makes sure data is written evenly to avoid wearing out the memory cells, because yes, these cells degrade over time. That's why SSDs have a limited number of write cycles, but they're still lightning fast compared to mechanical drives. The same flash memory technology powers USB drives, SD cards, and microSDs. These are essentially miniaturized SSDs, often with simpler controllers. Whether you're saving vacation photos or transferring documents, the principle is the same. Biary bits stored as trapped electrons in insulated gates. They're compact, efficient, and rewritable, but just like SSDs, they wear out over time with repeated use. But when we talk speed, nothing beats RAM, random access memory. This is your system's short-term memory, and it's volatile meaning it only holds data as long as the device is powered on. RAM stores bits using millions of microscopic capacitors and transistors. In dynamic RAM, DRAM, each bit is a tiny charge store in a capacitor, and these charges leak quickly, requiring constant refreshing thousands of times per second. If the charge is present, it's a 1, if not, it's a 0. This refresh cycle is why RAM is so fast but forgetful. On the other hand, static RAM SRAM, which is used in CPU caches, stores each bit using a small flip-flop circuit made of transistors. It's faster and doesn't need refreshing, but it's much more expensive than takes up more space. And then we have ROM, read-only memory. Unlike RAM, ROM is non-volatile and retains its contents without power. It's used for critical instructions like firmware. In older ROMs, data was hard-coded by physically altering the chip during manufacturing, literally burning in the ones and zeros using tiny fuses or diodes. Modern ROMs like EEPROM or Flash ROM work similarly to SSDs using floating gate transistors, but they're only rewritten during firmware updates, not during daily use. Zooming out a bit, think about servers, those giant machines storing data for the internet. They don't use a magical new type of storage, they just use a lot of it. Racks of HDDs and SSDs are networked together, often using RAID systems to split or duplicate data across multiple drives for speed and reliability. When you save a photo to the cloud, it's stored somewhere on a real, physical SSD or hard drive inside a server farm. Your data is electricity and magnetism frozen into silicon or metal. Every type of storage device, whether it's your laptop's SSD, your phone's flash memory, your camera's SD card, or your PC's RAM, is solving the same problem. How to represent binary data using physical states. Magnetic orientation, electrical charge, voltage levels, all of it comes down to converting logic into matter. So the next time you save a file, remember, 
It's not just stored, it's encoded into microscopic structures, suspended in magnetic fields, or locked inside quantum wells of silicon, bits of your digital life, physically etched into the devices around you. And that is how storage really works. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because here at Knowledge Hub, we make the invisible world of tech crystal clear, and as always, stay curious.